the, the main innovations we're bringing here and showing here at NEB 2024 is our desk view and our AV wall technology. They are part of our overall Emerald family or ecosystem. What uh, the desk view is essentially a product that allows, essentially integrates a KVM receiver, a thin client and a multiviewer all into one single box, which really means that you can take uh, a small unit and you can drive up to four different screens where you can connect up to 16 different sources and lay them out in any kind of arrangement on those four screens you would like and actually have a lot of different workflows you can create around those. Um, the AV wall part is where we're integrating onto a video wall where we're integrating the support for IP streaming cameras like H.264, 65 and also supporting, you know, having a video wall behind it and tightly coupled into the overall uh, Emerald family. Um, and that's the highlight of what we're showing. The other thing we're kind of showing is the way that we can uh, scale our technology in a building uh, across multiple buildings or even across the country in terms of KVM access and support. KVM technology has advanced over the la uh, last couple of years in a couple of different ways. First, it's moved to IP. So matrix technology has become legacy and everything's over IP, just like all the other kind of trends in media entertainment. It's uh, also incorporated the um, access to virtual machines so that you, know, you can access both physical machines and virtual machines as people move to things like cloud-based um, production, whether it's in their private cloud or their public cloud. The benefits that IP brings to KVM is number one, scalability. Uh, you basically are, because of IP is scalable, you can basically build almost an infinite uh, I, or KVM uh, domain. Um, it also brings uh, cost because ethernet technology or switches that our IP relies on is probably declining at 10 to 20% per annum in terms of your switch costs. So your, your gigabit switches are gone very cheap. You have 10 gig prices coming down, 100 gig prices are coming down. So you get your, your cost um, uh, reduction because of the volume of the IP switch business. And the third thing you get is security. Uh, people really understand these days how to lock down IP switches and IP technology so that you can control and isolate whatever parts of the structure you want. So you have that ability to kind of lock it down, which is different in the old days when you may have relied on a matrix system where you're relying on a very small company to guarantee your security. You're now relying on a trillion dollar IP switch industry to get you that security model. KVM is actually relying on the internet in cases where you want to go over the wide area network. So where you kind of find that the technology has evolved where you have low bit rate um, video compression uh, so that you can span over across the, um, the internet. A uh, classic example is going into OB trucks and being able to control equipment in a, say replay machines and OB trucks from a remote location. The heart of a lot of what KVM done is inside a building is on a local area network. So you're dependent on the local area network as against the actual internet per se. The future KVM is following the trajectory it's been on where it's going to be IP based and the integration of more sources into um, the personal space of a user. So it's all about optimizing the operator desk to make it intuitive to them, getting the KVM to kind of hide behind or melt into the background so the user is using things like touch to basically enable them to kind of orchestrate their workflow. So more and more KVM, the value is going to be in the software rather than the hardware components kind of going forward. Thank you.